to get in the way of your job. But whatever went to the wrong table, boss. Exactly. You don't even know. You should speak to Diego, your assistant. I needed to take control of what was going on because I was getting annoyed myself. You're not having a good night, Nicholas. I will do the pass, thank you. Oh, Nick. So I got two guides off the pass because they were annoying me and I decided to do it myself. Main course, table eight, please. Which table, Nick? Table eight, boss, please. I don't have a table, table eight, Table eight has already had their main course. Why is Nick, he calling... Nick, why are you asking for tables main it's course It's already had the gone. main course, boss. Sorry, I apologize. I think you should calm down, Nick. Go away from the pass, please. How Move long away for from the 16? Pass. How long for one? Table one away, please. Thank you, Nicholas. And then suddenly Jody came to me and said there was a complaint on tempo two. You got quite agitated, quite excitable, and I thought, oh my god, here we go. What's, what's happening here? This gentleman's not happy with his food. He says it's crap. No, 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 no. no. It's, 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 he did. He said it was rubbish food, and he said he's not happy with it. I just like to bring that to your attention. It's embarrassing, okay, to have. 40 asparagus spears as a starter. So the presentation was shite, OK? Well, it's not shite. That's a very strong word to say. OK, I apologise for that. Okay. But at the same time, yes. Marco would say the same thing, and I'm surprised he left it out of the kitchen. Marco wouldn't. Okay? I disagree. Excuse Why, me. Did you read the menu? Of course I read the menu. But what did it say on the menu? It said asparagus, OK? Yes. But it didn't say 40 of bloody asparagus, did it? It's new season asparagus. We're giving you 40 stems because it's thin asparagus. So you th think 40 stems is an acceptable starter? You is think this, 40 is stems is an acceptable is starter? You, it, it, you you've obviously just ruined your own evening. You've ruined this man here because he's trying no, his No, 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 no. I don't want to ruin this man no, here. Like, no, okay. but no, you okay. ask me. That's it. That's it. That's yeah. it. That's it. You better, it's better that you leave now, in all fairness, because it's ridiculous. Thank you. I represent Marco and I can't take things like that that are not seen deemed to be reasonable. I think you've been a bit harsh here. Okay, no problem. Okay. I'm very surprised that Marco would let something like that go out. Because there were 40 asparagus spears. I didn't count them all, okay? We just said a little bit too much asparagus. Wow. Welcome back to Hell's Kitchen. So on a night when we've got Jamelia, Banana Rama and one of the sugar babes in, why don't we go back to last night and see how the night ended with a song from Krista Berg. Never seen you looking so lovely as you did tonight. Never seen you shine so bright. This restaurant would be successful. Are these total matches? And the same. So 60 diners had been served, some more than once. And what did they make of it all? Everyone was asked their opinion, except Asparagus Man, who was sitting on the bus home, telling the driver it had too many seats. I sent it back because it was stone cold, and they gave me what looked like a raw sheep cut in half. <laughs> I'm not knocking the soup. But the fish soup was very fishy. Whoever complains in the restaurant tonight, then they should live in hell. Because tonight I was in heaven. <laughs> well, you two were fantastic out there, weren't you? Apparently, Marco. Hey. Hello. Hello. Okay. Start a comment. Asparagus tasted fresh and lovely. Presentation was very poor and far too much. The lowest score for starters is 0 out of 10 for the fish soup. The highest score for starters is 10 out of 10 for the crab. So the overall score for starters is 6 out of 10. Okay. Main comments, tuna. The tuna was overdone at first, but Jody sorted it out, and the tuna was brilliant the second time. Perfect. The lowest score for main dish is 0 out of 10 for the tuna, 10 out of 10 for the veal. The overall score is 7 out of 10 for the mains. Okay. Service. Jody. Yes, Nick. A very nice man. Mm -hmm. Excellent manner. Very good knowledge of food served. 
so well done. Jody was charming, lovely, engaging, in fact, the perfect waiter. Ah, well, well done. Oh, didn't know your mum was in. <laughs> Grant. Very conscientious, attentive and knowledgeable. Good. So Jody's score for service is 9 out of 10. Well done. Grant's score is 8 out of 10. Oh, well done. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Jodie's starting to annoy me because I, I hate that martyred expression but it just seems so fake right, I'd just like to applaud these guys at the back by the way because yeah. their job is sometimes as equally as important as what Marco's and our job is because them people who choose to come into the restaurant and dine Sometimes their opinions are just ridiculous, uncalled for, offensive, disrespectful, and because of that, I took absolute advantage of my position, and with the help of Nick, ejected them from your restaurant because they offended you, which offended me, which basically offended all of us by coming out with ridiculous comments about the food being Did crap. you get rid of people? Yes. What happened? What happened? An Irish gentleman had the audacity after pulling me backwards and forwards like a jack-in-a-box, excuse my language, to come to me, first of all complaining about the time of the desserts and how long it was taking when I'd already told them there was third in the queue, they would have to be patient. Can I rectify that by giving you a complimentary glass of champagne to accompany your complimentary bottle of wine and the complimentary meal and the complimentary water and table etc etc still weren't happy, he still took it upon himself to make a ridiculous comment saying that the food was crap, etc, etc, etc. So, with the help of my boss, stroke colleague, we dealt with it professionally, properly, and booted him out. And how did you do it? How did you execute well, it? professionally. Professionally. Me, Nick, and the help of our colleagues in the restaurant, we um, told them politely to... He came up to me. The, the gentleman did. What did he say, Marco? He said he may have made a few foolish comments. OK. And he apologised. He didn't apologise to me and Nick, Marco. At the end of the day, Marco, he wanted the attention, he got it. Unfortunately, I was the one who had to dish it out to him. However, I'm quite pleased that I got to boot someone out. <laughs> I told you I would. <laughs> Sorry. It was me and Charlie's now, but still, I enjoyed it. I'll admit. <laughs> Can I say? Still my hero, but if he made me toast, burnt, lemon curd with Marmite on top, I'm not complaining. No way. Now, can anyone take Jodie's place out front? Well, in a word, Yes, it was time for Marco to choose the next two celebrities to be his waiters. Tough night. I've got to turn two of you into waiters. Jodie, Grant, I thought you were both fantastic. Thank you, Marco. Out front tonight, which makes me think Maybe I should leave you both in the room, you were that good. Well, I'd have to say no to that, Marco, if I have the opportunity. I'm here to learn about food, not how to wait on people. I think I enjoyed the experience, Marco. Yes. But I think when you're working in the kitchen, it's like a steam train. And I feel temporarily I haven't got enough steam and I need to get back in the kitchen. OK. Now, the kitchen all did sections you hadn't done before. Tough. And tell me, Linda, how do you think you did? I think I did well. Well enough to stay in the kitchen one more night? Yes. I felt that you struggled a little, but you didn't give up. I like that. Aid? Yes. I thought you did okay. Yeah, I did all right. 